This is a uh, 60 RPM motor with the hue and boom screw for my test. I have done a 100 RPM motor, which will lift faster, but not really any amount of dirt. 200 RPM seems to just stall out on random whatever, and I can barely put anything into that. Uh, the 60 RPM here seems to be really slow, but it is also scooping the biggest amount of dirt, probably again due to the torque RPM ratio. The other option I was thinking of trying is maybe a 60 RPM motor with the T8 thread to see if the thread will take up uh, the distance quicker. And then if that's all a fail, then I'll totally admit defeat and I will go with the 300 RPM motor and the T8 thread, which was suggested to me. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. The only thing I can think is maybe the difference in that thread that was suggested to me, I think, was for a front-end loader. And I also believe there's two motors to lift that boom. This is just one, so I'm not sure if that's factoring into it as well. But uh, if everything goes for a giant dump here i i don't know <laughs> i'm getting tired of this so hopefully uh either i accept that 60 rpm is gonna be the one if it is and i hope it's faster because it's i really wish it would be faster <laughs> anyways uh here's a video hopefully i can uh back up what i was just talking about because it just worked like five seconds ago before i started blabbering Just still getting used to the controls. Also, this bucket is right on the end of its thread. So if I just did what I did now, it comes on loose. And then I have to struggle to get it back on again. Damn. Most happens when you try to shoot a video showing people that you know what you're talking about. And I don't. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. So it does have a lot of torque. Super awesome. Really... That I am pumped though. Before I can only put a little sprinkling of dirt into this thing. And uh, it just was not going to work out very well. But it seems like either I'm going to take a long time to uh, load up small amounts of dirt faster or big amounts of dirt really slow. But the 60 RPM has for sure is so far the best. The best torque out of all of them. That's the best load of dirt I've been able to scoop. Also, too, it's nice if it's a little slower because it does kind of give you a bit of time to make sure you're not stalling out the motor because I don't have any limit switches in this thing. And I was talking about limit switches all the time, and now by the time I get this thing done, even though I should put them in there, I, I don't want to. <laughs> Too much, too much work. <laughs> so we can do this again without dumping out the thread. Ah, uh, uh, again. Ah. <laughs> Hang on a second. I actually don't have any spaces in between there, so it might. It might be rolling it around a bit too much. It might help to keep it centered a bit more. Now, the one thing about the 100 RPM motor, I remember looking at it, and it was lifting little bits of dirt, but I remember feeling like I don't think it was going to last. So, let's see, 
This one seems to be at least a little, moving a little bit smoother so far. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I really like the extra height that I get with this model and using these motors versus the Actuonix actuator. that or just gotta not have a extra steep hill for it to climb to try and dump that might help out Let's try one more before i waste anybody else's life with this thing very slow but it's got the torque that it needs. I couldn't do that before. Like, jam it into that pile like that. also needs a major major massive cleanup inside as well and that uh, there we go. it's very much right on the edge it would be nice if I could try and make that thread just a little bit longer I think one of the things about it is because it mounts off the Hawk, I end up um, losing a bit of distance I could use for that thread to make that a little bit longer um, because I could get rid of that coupling piece I made but I just have to keep an eye on it I think honestly for all the efforts I put into this thing so far I'm pretty happy with it and you know it's been a long time coming this thing I'm ready to add it to the collection after it gets tidy up and uh really work on something else something easy but if there is something easy <laughs> i don't know I say that i've said it before and i put my foot in my mouth so i was thinking something like the little asphalt compactor three little motors or something or even some little cr servos in it if it's possible i don't know i've never looked at it and uh make a fun little compactor out of that and then um i'm not sure what else to do well there's lots I was thinking a little mini excavator, a little chafe, if that's how you say it. But with that one, I'll be putting servos into it. I'm not in a rush to do anything else with a thread set up in it anytime soon. Because although it's taught me a lot, which is really good, it's also been a major pain in the ass. For me, at least, anyways. Well, that's just my level I'm at, so... There's other people that can do it quickly without having a 3D printer too. <laughs> Just throwing that in there. And kudos to you, good on ya. Uh, it sure took me a fair bit of time to uh, come up with a design and figure the motors out and make a holders and all this other kind of stuff. So that's my 906 loader. Uh, I'll probably do another video when I have it all tidied up and uh, the cab or the the, the interior is back in and the brooder guys in there with his hands on the steering wheel sitting nice and clean uh yeah there you go other things too like i said last time clean up the wheels there i made a bit of swiss cheese on the other side with the um the uh the motors trying to put them in the right spot three holes i really not a fan of seeing so i should try and clean 
that up. You can see them right there. I might uh, try and take the boom off and put a little patch on there or something like that to smooth it over. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, one hell of a project for me, that's for sure. Test my knowledge on everything from how to make four motors turn or uh, together uh, and uh, also the steering servo in there. Um, putting the BECs, first model I ever have with a BEC in it. Uh, I got a lot of help, but in the end, you still have to do it yourself. So it's definitely been a huge learning curve for me. I spent a lot of money on a lot of wrong stuff. <laughs> so if you're trying to figure things out and you're not sure, do it anyways. Make the mistakes because it's worth it in the end. All right, thanks.